Okay, I want to share a little technique. Uh, if you're using the um, Denon or Marantz, uh, I don't know about the other uh, uh, AVRs out there. Um, okay, so all channel. No, not all zone. Um, so. I have to go to the menu on the, you know, on there. Go to and let's just switch off the all zone output. Okay. So if you wanted pink noise to output to many of the uh, speakers in the room or we'll use a uh, REM for frequency sweeping um, just go to the generator close that down output some pink noise Turn the level up. Oh yeah, I've also got that film playing in the background there. Just mute that. Oh yeah, I'm on Dolby Surround. So let's go into all channel, scroll down to multi channel stereo, and it's going out literally to every speaker in the room. Now, if you want to do um, obviously um, do a frequency sweep of each speaker, you would have to uh, undo the uh, speaker wiring. Not all of the speaker, you only have to undo, say, the uh, positive um, terminal from the uh, output of the um, <clears throat> speaker terminals. Never, never undo the negative and leave the uh, the positive connected because if the uh, negative were to ground, it would then output and might the frequency sweep. You know, so always undo your positive. Um, if you're running outboard amplifiers, it's a lot easier to um, uh, turn levels down, one off, and then leave one channel on while you do the frequency sweep. Uh, if you've got um, maybe a DCX linked onto them, you can easily uh, just mute channels uh, so if I want to do um, test the surrounds uh, let's mute my surrounds there that's partly muting the overhead surrounds that's height one there and there and that's height number three height number two middle is um, it's not wired up on there at the moment so I've got to simply just um, turn that one off I should only have pink noise output in now over to the uh, the back surround on the side wall because there's three three of them uh, one two three and then one two three and then Two up there, one there, blah, um, all over there, even below surround. It's the new thing that um, the Chinese don't have it, the Americans don't have it. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's turn the fader up. So it's that speaker over there sounding. So if I wanted to place the microphones um, around the room, 
got up to six microphones. Um, I wanted to do a frequency check over there, or you know, if I, you know, if it's going to float my boat, <laughs> um, I could do a frequency sweep. Um, just go back in here. And I'm, uh, unmute all the rest. That's all the sights around to all play. A few other tricks. I'll fade that down. And that's the two speakers sounding up there if I want that one of course the signal you got you got to remember it's um okay that's going out to the middle back it's going down there so when the uh, the equalizer knocks on the door in the, uh, the the equalizer I can hear him right down the middle um I could put the activate the below surround because it's don't forget the signals um kind of like a in a way a sort of monoish signal. And there's my below surround there and back down down behind that one as well. There's a few more around as well. Oh yeah. It's up to 117 JBL speakers. Well I think it's actually a little bit more than that now. Um, yeah, so the, uh, the multi-channel, it's a very useful, uh, feature. It's basically identical, uh, it's basically sending the signal identically out to all the, um, the speakers. So let's turn the light off now. Turn that light off, if I can turn it off. Okay, there we go. So it's identically sending the same signal out. Um, you know, I mean, I've listened to it before in the past and think uh, it's kind of a gimmick, but you know, it's had a bit of beneficial use. Um, particularly if you want to do a frequency sweep, you know, um, because most people do a frequency sweep over their sub bass speakers, don't they? Um, and so you know you could just use the rem and um also the uh the hdmi lead let's turn the light back on i've got the hdmi lead here going from the computer connected into auxiliary um on the front auxiliary number two so uh you may want to um depending on your computer uh, some computers have a HDMI output. Um, some some computers have a HDMI output. Um, others would just have a um, 3.5 millimeter jack outputs. You could use the free fight the 3.5 millimeter going into the back of the AVR into the left and right um, input on a spare input you know, be it CD, tape, whatever, and then just select all multi-channel stereo mode, and then the signal just gets duplicated, and then you can um, mute channels, uh, play a frequency sweep for it, and you get a frequency graph to, uh, to show off if you want to, um, you could put sine wave tone for it, go through step by step you can test your speakers see how well um the overhead surrounds are handling compared to you know the front ones and you may have to make some trade-off with the front ones by taking some frequencies down so that they, they don't over over taxi or Um, mask audio mask the the other you know everything's got to work
together. I think that's sort of like, you know, ideally what it's supposed to do, but, you know, not have, you know, um, your overhead surround or my, or if it my blow surround underneath the seating, struggling um, to be, to be, to be heard. Hmm. Yeah, I use the, uh, use the, uh, what's it? It's a, it's an ideal feature of that, the multi-channel. Uh, that's a very ideal feature. It's still outputting. Uh, so, play it over the center HF. Over the right. If I want to go to use my five screen channel, wait for it to come up there. When I activate those, bingo. Uh, I think it's down there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I've got to unmute that, but I've unmuted the other overhead surrounds. Yeah, so I could just about, just about barely hear those. I have to see what. Have I got any, uh, yeah, I've got some, you know, when I like to experiment. So I put in some filters, didn't I? Yeah. So you can play your pink noise, even play, play them both at the same time um, on two speakers. One over there, one over there to check timbre matching. Um, let me just mute that. Oh, gosh. Uh, you could test for... Um, yeah, just frequency matching. Um, it's a, it's a lot easier, probably a lot better than using Odyssey. I got Odyssey here is turned off. It's not in use. If you're going to use any outboard additional, um, you know, matrix decoding to expand this Atmos thing. You have to have the Odyssey turn off. You cannot have it. You cannot have it switched on, otherwise it will mess up the um, the coding. EQ is always done afterwards. That's where all these things here are on the outboard. All that's on the last part of the chain going over to the e, um, amplifiers, um, as well as some of the matrix decoding down there. Um, and then two cats. You've been fed, boys. You've been fed. You've had a big meal. You had a big meal. Um, and then other outboard um, EQs. Like uh, that's doing all the. Uh, do one and put another one of these in so it would do my. Um, the other surrounds on the, the other JBLs. Um, and then, yeah, the real THX sound system. Mm. Yeah, so use your multi channel stereo. It's a very, very useful little thing, tool for uh, setting up your speakers. Have fun.